Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on 1010 KSIR and on the World Wide Web at KSIR.com. This afternoon from Sunset Baseball Field and Brush, it's the 3A District 8 Tournament Championship game as the visiting Strasburg Indians take on the Brush B-Diggers and welcome back to B-Digger Baseball. I'm John Beltran. Both of these teams are 14-6 and six going in. The B-Diggers earlier today, the sixth seed in this 3A District Tournament, eliminated St. Mary's 7-3 as Gregory Maris went the distance in a five-hitter, and Kyle Rosenbrock, the freshman, hit two two-run homers. Also a solo shot by Eric Garcia. As for Strasburg, the 11th seed, they trailed the 22nd seed Bennett's 4-3, to three, going into the bottom of the sixth inning, and then scored 11 runs to win the game in six, 14-4. So they come off maybe their best inning offensively of the year. We'll get to the Strasburg starting lineup momentarily. As this game will get underway in just a few minutes, these teams met on April the 14th. And it was a 10-6 brush victory here in Strasburg. But some of the participants are a little bit different for this game. First of all, Brian Bowers, the center fielder for Strasburg, had a huge game against Brush with four hits. And he's not even on the roster, so we're not going to question what happened there. We can just tell you factually what the case is. And as for the B-Diggers in that game, they started Ryan Hirschfeld, who has injured his shoulder since then, so he's limited to DH duties. And because of that, the B-Diggers, of course, have had their pitching staff go in a little bit of a different direction, but certainly in a positive one, as it will be Kyle Rosenbrock getting the start for the B-Diggers in this game against Brandon Huser. So the Bead Diggers are one step away now from winning their 15th game of the season and qualifying for the double elimination 3A state tournament. In terms of finals from earlier today, not too many have come in. We know that Holy Family defeated Sheridan 9-4 to in District 2. Eaton was a winner as well over the Academy 6-0. A big upset, though, in Rifle, the third-seeded Bears of Rifle lost to Weld Central, the 30th seed, 6 nothing, And that's the one that's most prevalent because the winner of this particular district will meet the winner of that district. And, in fact, the second game is ongoing between the 14-seed University and 19-seeded Colorado Academy. So there's a solid possibility that you do have as many as three Patriot League teams, maybe four, but you'll have one out of this district qualify for the state tournament. Eaton is the favorite, obviously, in District 2. And then you could have either University or Weld Central in District number 7. Valley still an outside shot. They are at the Lamar district right now. So here's the starting lineup for the Strasburg Indians coming off a 14-4 victory. Batting first is the center fielder, Glenn Wallace. The shortstop, Brian Lay, hits second. Second baseman, Tommy Moore, bats third. Jason McCune, the DH, is the cleanup hitter. Batting fifth is the left fielder, Jeremy Reagan. The first baseman, Brandon Whitehead, hits sixth. Zach Hildebrand, the catcher, bats seventh. Dalton Oliver, the right fielder, hits eighth. And Austin McCall, the third baseman, will be batting ninth for the B-Diggers defensively. Mitch Tormolins at first, Jesus Cadenas at second. Tyler Monday's the third baseman. Gregory Maris at short. Around the outfield, Eric Garcia's in left. Dylan Acosta's in center. The right fielder's Daniel Soto. Behind the plate is Traver Blake, who has caught, I believe, every inning this season, if not virtually every inning. And on the mound is Kyle Rosenbrock coming off two complete games, one against Valley and the other one against Berthoud. Rosenbrock at 2-0 and with one save. And an ERA of 1.7. Certainly a control pitcher. 24 strikeouts and only four walks in 24 and two-thirds innings. Only a freshman, but he plays like he's much older. Again, in that first game, two two-run homers for Rosenbrock in what was a 7-3 brush victory over St. Mary's. Opening pitch brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance, locally in Fort Morgan and Brush. Offering home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance. Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. So this will be about a 3.05 start to this game. 
for the District 8 championship. And here's Glenn Wallace, also the Strasburg quarterback this year. And Rosenbrock delivers the first pitch. And the fastball is a strike on the outer half at the knees. It's 0-1. B-Digger defense was pretty good in the first game, committing only one error. Wine in the 0-1 pitch. And that bender's in the dirt. One ball and one strike. Yeah, Strasburg comes off a humongous inning. 11 runs scored against Bennett. They turned a 4-3 deficit in the sixth into a 14-4 win. 1-1 pitch. Fastball is low. Ball two, strike one to the right-handed hitting Glenn Wallace. Strasburg coached by Daryl Dyes. The beat diggers by Mark Muniz. They're dressed in their gray uniforms for this game. The pitch swung on and lifted towards right field. Soto to his right. Leaps and makes the catch. That ball nearly went over his glove, but Soto was able to make the play. If not, that would have been at least a double, if not a triple. And Daniel Soto makes another outstanding play in the gap. And there's one down. Well, that was scary for B-Digger fans. But that's why Soto's out there. Here's the right-handed hitting shortstop, Brian Lay, the pitch. And that ball's down and away. Took something off, but it's 1-0. and Gorgeous afternoon. Temperature now in the 50s. And the pitch. Bounces it up there. Two balls and no strikes to Lay. And the 2-0 fouled up the third base side on that little chopper. Ball two, strike one to Brian Lay. Wine and pitch. Curveball is down and away. It's 3-1. and one. Again, only four walks issued in 24 and two-thirds innings by Rosenbrock, which means he has one walk every six innings. And the 3-1. That's a fastball. Where did that miss? I have no idea. That looked like it was right at belt level. It's ball four. Well, I'll tell you what, if that's being called a ball, this is going to be a a hitter strike zone. Here is Tommy Moore stepping in for Strasburg. The right-handed hitting second baseman. Yeah, I'm still a little bit befuddled about that last pitch, the stretch. And the offering. Fastball is just outside. One ball and no strikes. So far, Rosenbrock certainly not in control. Seven balls and three strikes, unlike Rosenbrock. The pitch fouled straight back, and that ball was up in the zone. The count is level at one ball and one strike. But again, when you're a power pitcher, that first inning can be the toughest. You get through the first inning like Maris did in the opener. That makes things a lot easier. Stretch, and the 1-1, and the curveball. Looked like it caught the corner. Ball two. Jeez. Two balls and one strike. This is a hitter strike zone so far. And the offering. Swung on and driven towards right field. Soto to his right. Has to play it on a hop. It's a base hit. Advancing to second is Lay. And Strasburg comes up with their first hit. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter. Jason McCune, big, strong, right-handed hitter. Bead diggers in a hole already in the top of the first inning. Yeah, this is a tight strike zone so far, the stretch. And the offering. And the curveball is there for a strike on the outer half just above the knees, but that one was obvious. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike to McCune. Bead diggers a double play depth. Rosenbrock looks back, the pitch, swung on line foul off to the right. Try to jam him with a fastball, it's 0-2. The bead digger starting a freshman here in this district tournament championship game, but he's your best bet with a 1.7 ERA. He's allowed one run over the last 14 innings. Throw back to second, and the ball is off of Maris. Glove towards center field on the air and throw, and both runners will advance. And the air's on Rosenbrock. On the throw that was offline. So late to third, more to second. Strasburg with an opportunity to score the game's first run. No balls and two strikes. Stretched by Rosenbrock. Maybe he'll throw a slider. And that one is blocked by Blake. It was a slider. One ball and two strikes. 
Uh, Strasburg fresh off that 11-run sixth inning. They probably feel they've got the momentum going into this game while the B-Diggers were able to rest for a while. One ball, two strikes, one out. The offering. Swing! And a miss and a fastball at the letters. And McCune strikes out. There's two down. But they're not out of the inning yet. With Jeremy Reagan stepping to the plate. Right-handed hitter is Reagan. The stretch and the offering. Swag and a miss and a fastball right down the middle. It's 0-1. Rosenbrock had seven balls and three strikes at one point. Now nine balls and nine strikes. So starting to find the zone. 0-1. Curveball is hit foul off the end of the bat on the right side. 0-2 to Jeremy Reagan. Huge momentum boost if the B-Diggers can dodge this bullet. With second and third and one out. Now second and third, two down. No balls, two strikes. Pitch to Reagan. Swung on and popped up on the right side. The catcher, Trevor Blake, into foul territory. Makes the catch, and the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and two men left in scoring position. We head to the bottom of the first. Strasburg did not score. The B-Diggers are coming to bat. This is the District 8, Class 3A Tournament Championship game on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Sunset Baseball Field. B-Digger starting lineup brought to you by T.O. Charlie's for a great used car truck. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they'll find it for you at T.O. Charlie's, 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Batting first is a shortstop, Gregory Maris. The left fielder, Eric Garcia, hits second. Mitch Tormolin, the first baseman, bats third. Cleanup hitter is the pitcher, Kyle Rosenbrock. Catcher, Trevor Blake, hits fifth. The D.H. Ryan Hirschfeld bats sixth. Second baseman, Jesus Cadenas, hits seventh. Third baseman, Tyler Monday, hits eighth. And Dylan Acosta, the center fielder, will be batting ninth. Strasburg defensively as Brandon Whitehead at first. Tommy Moore at second. Austin McCall is the third baseman. Brian Lays at short around the outfield. Jeremy Reagan in left. Glenn Wallace in center. Dalton Oliver in right. Zach Hildebrand behind the plate. And right-hander Brandon Huser is on the mound. And he'll face Mares, who had a bunt single in the opening game. Wine and pitch. And that is low with a fastball. Strasburg at second and third, one out in the top of the first, and did not score. Hildebrand lays down the sign, and the 1-0, and the bender is in the dirt. Two balls and no strikes. At this point, it's all about pitching depth. Brandon Whitehead did pitch for Strasburg in the opening game. 2-0, swung on, tapped foul up the third base side. Count is at two balls and one strike. Maris does lead this team with 17 walks and been hit by a pitch four times. That's why his on-base percentage is 200 points higher than his batting average. And the 2-1. That's a fastball for a strike at the knees. Down the middle, it's 2-2. Two and two. two balls and two strikes. And the offering. And the curveball is in the dirt towards a screen. Three balls, two strikes. At 1305 Edison Street and Brush, CNC Auto Parts is your local Napa Auto Parts store. It'll be a payoff pitch to Gregory Mares here to lead off the bottom of the first inning. Here it is. Swung on and popped down the right field line. Dalton Oliver to his left along the line makes the catch, and there's one down in the bottom of the first inning. Here's Eric Garcia who gave the B-Diggers a 1-0 lead against St. Mary's with a first-inning home run. Later on, had a pop fly single, so had two base hits in that opening game. You can follow us pitch-by-pitch at KSIRsports.com. The offering, and that fastball is low. One ball and no strikes. Garcia hitting 364 after his game one performance. A 7-3 brush victory. 1-0 pitch. That curveball is right down the middle. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Two teams with identical records. B-Diggers finished third in league play. Strasburg, or B-Diggers in second. Strasburg in third. That ball bounced off the foot of Garcia, it looked like. And home plate umpire said it didn't hit him. Two balls and one strike. That's why he took a funny hop. Two and one to Eric Garcia. They're just going to say that home plate umpire that hit the dirt. Let me tell you, that was an unusual skip. And the 2-1. Fastball is down the middle for a strike. 
At belt level, two balls and two strikes to the bead digger left fielder. Garcia ready. And the pitch. Swung on and driven to center field. A routine fly ball for Glenn Wallace. Now has to come in! And he dives and he can't make the play. Garcia headed for second. The throw of the slide. Garcia is going to be out. And he was out by quite a bit. Brian Lay applies the tag as Wallace completely misjudged it. So it'll be a pop fly single. And then 8-6 to six as Garcia is tagged out at second base. He took a chance. He's got lots of speed, but it did not pay off. Here is Mitch Tormolin. And Garcia was running all the way. And... Now we've got a situation there with head coach Daryl Dodge. Apparently, Tommy Moore, the second baseman, giving him some glasses or something, some sunglasses that apparently broke. Tormolin steps in. Tormolin's actually looking to get back on track. He was a run producer earlier in the season, still hitting the ball fairly well. In the first game, was 0 for 3. He has not had a hit in his last three games, 0 for 10. Swung on and grounded a third to McCall, and he plays it off his chest, picks it up, throws to first low, and then the ball gets by the first baseman up against the side of the screen. That'll be an error on McCall. And Brandon Whitehead now is bending over at the waist, the first baseman. Not sure if he had a collision with Tormon over there. Well, it's too bad that Garcia got thrown out over there at second base as he tried to extend a single into a double. V-Diggers could have had a run there. So either way, you got two out with one on. Tormon at first base and Brandon Whitehead trying to shake off. I'm not sure exactly what happened to him. And both teams have now committed an error in the game. Yeah, I think Tormon and Whitehead might have collided somehow at first base. I didn't see much of one. Oh, here is Kyle Rosenbrock who had two two-run homers and a double in the 7-3 victory in the district tournament semifinal against St. Mary's. Attempting to help his own cause here in the bottom of the first. No score between Brush and Strasburg in this district tournament championship game from Brush. The pitch Swung on and driven very high to right field. Dalton Oliver comes in. He locates the baseball, makes the catch on the run. The inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors. And a man left, one complete. Brush nothing, Strasburg nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Let's go to the second inning in this 3A district tournament championship game. B-Diggers and Strasburg Indians are scoreless. It'll be Brandon Whitehead, Zach Hildebrand, and Dalton Oliver. The 6, 7, and 8 hitters against Kyle Rosenbrock. A shaky first inning for both teams with errors being committed. But let's see if this game will settle down just a bit. As the right-handed hitting Whitehead will step in. So this now amounts to a six-inning ball game with a winner to advance to the eight-team double elimination state tournament coming up on Friday and Saturday and then a following weekend as well. The freshman Rosenbrock with the sun now making an appearance. And the fastball is a strike on the outside corner at the knees. And it's 0-1. And you can follow us pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com. Just click on the appropriate links, including today's game. And the offering and the curveball bounces in. One ball and one strike. Now we're going to see at least... Two Patriot League teams in the tournament, unless Eaton is upset by Middle Park. The offering, fastball, outside corner at the knees at strike two. Perfectly located by Kyle Rosenbrock. One ball, two strikes, a scoreless game in the second. Wine and pitch, swung on and grounded, foul up the first base side. Oh, that was headed for the corner, but luckily, just a little bit off the line. And the count remains at one and two to Brandon Whitehead to lead off the second inning. The Bay Diggers carry an eight-game winning streak into this one. One ball, two strikes. Wind and pitch. 
Curveball is grounded to the shortstop. Maris to his right. It's going to be a long throw to first, but that will be in time to retire Whitehead, and there's one down. Whitehead not with a ton of speed there, and it made it easier for Maris. Here's the catcher, Zach Hildebrand. Another right-handed hitter for Strasburg. Strasburg had a big threat in the first inning, and the breaking ball bounces in. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, Rosenbrock is the type of pitcher, despite being a freshman, he knows where every pitch is going. No doubt about that. Wine in the 1-0, swung on and fouled off to the right. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Tough loss today for the Fort Morgan Mustangs in their 4A district tournament game. The pitch, and did he go? And yes, on the bender in the dirt, 1-2. and two. They lost 2-1 to one in 8 innings. Fort Morgan did to Longmont on an 8th inning balk by David Mendez. That's just a killer. 1-2 pitch. Fastball is upstairs. 2-2 two and two to Zach Hildebrand. And Rosenbrock delivers. Curveball is fouled off to the right again. Count remains at 2-2. Two and two. Now Strasburg put together an 11-run bottom of the sixth inning, turning a 4-3 deficit into a 14-4 win over Bennett. 2-2 two, two pitch. Swung on and grounded weakly down third. It's going to be a long throw for Monday, who sets, throws, and nails Zach Hildebrand for the out as Hildebrand tripped over the bag. Nice job of Monday just taking his time behind the bag at third. Two down for Dalton Oliver, the left-handed hitter. Oliver playing right field today. He's already figured in a couple of plays for Strasburg. Wind by Rosenbrock to pitch. And that fastball is on the outside corner for a strike. Thigh high. It is 0-1. Rosenbrock has had 17 of his last 22 pitches in a strike zone. Swung on line. Caught by the pitcher Rosenbrock. A very soft liner right off the fist. It's a 1-2-3 inning. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Brush nothing. Strasburg nothing in this District 8. 3-8 3-8 tournament championship game on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the forecast for today was about a 30% chance of rain, but we've seen nothing so far. And the sun is out in full force. Brush and Strasburg are scoreless in the bottom of the second inning from Sunset Baseball Field. Against right-hander Brandon Huser. it'll be the 5, 6, and 7 hitters for the B-Diggers, starting with Trevor Blake. Blake was 0 for 3 against St. Mary's. And hitting 258 on the season. Here's the wind by the right hand of the pitch. And that fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, we anticipate a much different game than that 10 to 6 brush victory on April 14th. And that curveball went behind the hitter. 2 and 0. Strasburg had the biggest threat of the game, second and third and one out in the first inning and could not score. A strikeout and a pop-up ensued. 2-0. Fastball. A strike on the outside corner. At the knees, it's 2-1. Trevor Blake with an open stance from the right side. The pitch, and that is low. Another heater. Three balls and one strike. And the B-Diggers have hosted this district tournament three of the last four years but have come up empty in the other two. And that fastball's right there, down the middle at the knees. Ball three, strike two, to Traver Blake, the beat digger catcher, leading off the bottom of the second. The offering, fastball grounded foul up the right side, and that would have been ball four. And that was well up in the zone. But Blake pulled the trigger, but he stays alive. Three and two to Blake. Wine and pitch. Swung on and popped up into foul territory and out of play. Count remains at three and two. B Diggers had Eric Garcia single and was thrown out trying to extend it in the first inning. The offering, and that is low and away with a fastball, and Blake walks. That'll bring up Ryan Hirschfeld. Who has torn it up all season. Had a base hit in the opening game. Two homers, 16 RBIs. 
with a 458 batting average. Blake with a two-step lead at first. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs. Bay Diggers got off to a quick start, leading 1-0 after 1, 4-0 after 3 against St. Mary's. They want to do the same here in the second against Strasburg. The stretch. 1-0 offering. And that is low and away with a fastball 2-0. Hughes are so far has thrown 12 strikes and 11 balls, so a little bit inconsistent. Short lead for Blake. 2-0 offering. Swung on and popped up in the infield, and the pitcher, Huser doesn't have to move on a ball hit about 50 feet in the air. He just makes the catch, and there's one down. And those are ones you want back over Hirschfeld. A 2-0 fastball down the middle, and he completely got under it. That'll bring up Jesus Cardenas. Jesus batting 314, 0 for 2 in the opening game with a sacrifice. The pitch, fastball is outside. 1 and 0, took something off of it. Blake again with an abbreviated lead at first. And the pitch, swung on and driven to right field in the air. Dalton Oliver comes in, still coming, still coming, makes the catch. Blake back to first, there's two down. And the B-Diggers trying to be aggressive up there after Blake walked. But not paying off right now as Tyler Monday steps in. Cargill Meat Solutions takes as much pride in the community just as they do in the products they provide to their consumers. Cargill Meat Solutions, part of the KSIR B106 scholarship program. So here is Monday, who had a sack fly in the opening game. He was 0 for 2. Swung on and fisted slowly on the right side. Second baseman Moore charges. He'll sidearm to first for the out. And the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left. Two complete in this district tournament championship game from Brush. The Bead Diggers and Strasburg Indians are scoreless on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the score line is identical. No runs on one hit, one air, and two left on base for both the Bead Diggers and Strasburg Indians through two innings. And Kyle Rosenbrock will throw to Austin McCall, Glenn Wallace, and Brian Lay, the 9-1-2 and two hitters, to begin the third. Strasburg had second and third and one out in the first and did not score. Bead Diggers have not had a serious threat so far. Here is the right-handed hitting third baseman McCall. Tons of sports today right here on 10-10. Bead Digger doubleheader. We'll have the Nuggets and Lakers game seven from Los Angeles. Tip time at 8.30, pregame at 8.05. Rosenbrock toes the rubber, and he's going to operate out of the stretch with the bases empty. The pitch. Bender's down and away. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock looks in the offering, and that's a fastball on the outside corner at the knees, and the count is level at 1-1. One and one. Blake lays down the sign. Rosenbrock, like Gregory Maris, works extremely quick. Swung on, grounded to the second baseman, Jesus Cadenas. He lobs at the first, and there's one down as Austin McCall is retired. And here's Glenn Wallace, who lined to the right fielder, Daniel Soto, in the first inning. And that ball was headed for the gap, and Soto cut it off and made a big play. So again, with the bases empty, Rosenbrock stretching. And the curveball is a beauty right down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, this is their money pitcher right now after the senior Maris did his job in the tournament semifinal. Fastball is over but low. One ball, one strike. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety, the brush grocery cart. One ball, one strike, one out. The base is empty. The pitch. Swung on and chopped slowly on the left side. Third baseman Monday has it. Fires to first, and there's two down. Brian Lay will step in for Strasburg. He walked. Only the fifth one issued in the entire season by Rosenbrock. That came in the opening frame. Stretch and offering. Swag and a miss. On a ball down and in. Looked like a changeup. It's 0-1. Well, if he can incorporate that pitch, he's going to be almost 
Impossible to hit the offering. Swung on, grounded foul up the third base side on a fastball that jammed Brian Lay. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes to Brian Lay. The stretch by Rosenbrock with the bases empty and the offering. And that goes all the way to the screen. It slipped out of his hand. I think he tried to throw a curveball. Count is at one and two. That went about a foot and a half behind the hitter. That's how badly he missed. But again, on 0 and 2, you can afford to throw a waste pitch. And that really was a waste pitch. 1 2 pitch. Swung on, grounder to third. Monday's got it on a big hop. Fires to first, a little bit high, but Tormolin keeps his foot on the bag. And it's a 1 2 3, top of the third inning once again for Kyle Rosenbrock. To the bottom of the third we go in this district tournament championship game in Class 3A from Brush. Brush nothing. Strasburg nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Sunset Baseball Field in Brush. 9-1-2 and two for the B-Diggers coming up here in the bottom of the third inning. Scoreless are the two Patriot League foes, Brush and Strasburg. Dylan Acosta had two hits against St. Mary's. They were both doubles. He was two for three in the game. And for a number nine hitter, it's a guy you want to see at the plate. Batting 300 on the season after that performance. Against the right-hander, Brandon Huser, the opening pitch at the bottom of the third is a fastball upstairs. One ball, no strikes. Which team will break out on top? And what could be a nail biter the entire way. The breaking ball's in the dirt. Two and zero. Oh. Two balls and no strikes to Acosta. Hildebrand lays down the sign. The pitch. Ooh, that ball nearly hit him. A fastball, well inside. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, there's no doubt that the more accurate pitcher so far is Rosenbrock. It's a leadoff walk in the second inning issued by Huser. He's about to do it again as he throws a four-pitch walk there. Ball four. That is the second walk issued by Huser in both leadoff innings. But the B-Diggers did not capitalize on the second inning walk. Gregory Maris popped out and the opening frame to the right fielder Dalton Oliver the stretch big lead for Acosta the pitch squaring to Bunt takes a fastball outside Acosta the first attack safe he slid into first too one ball no strikes little snap throw there by Hildebrand so five pitches all balls so far by Huser in this inning Squaring to Bunt, lays it out in front of the plate. Huser's going to barehand it. He'll throw to first in time, advancing to second as Acosta. Sacrifice is successful, one to three. The B-Diggers playing small ball. That'll bring up Eric Garcia, who had that pop fly single in the first inning, but then tried to stretch it into a double and was thrown out. And Acosta's got tons of speed out there. The B-Diggers... Whether it be Garcia or Tor Molden or maybe even Rosenbrock and drive him in. The stretch by the right-hander, Huser. And the offering. Swung on, driven, base it into right field, but that was hit so hard. Oliver's going to come up with it. They're going to have to hold Acosta at third. That ball was smoked by Eric Garcia. First and third for Mitch Tormolin, who reached on an air. And the opening frame. And again, Tormola needs a hit in the worst way. Now batting number 25, because he has not had a base hit in the month of May. The stretch and the offering. Swung on and fisted and caught by the third baseman. And Costa gets right back to third. Caught by McCall on a line drive. But luckily, Acosta read it perfectly. And got right back to the bag. And that's the type of bad luck that Tormolin's had lately. 0 for his last 12. Here's Rosenbrock. He popped out in his first at bat. The pitch and the 
Curveball is low and away. First and third, two down, no score between Brush and Strasburg in Brush in the bottom of the third inning. B Diggers looking to break out on top. Mr. Rosenbrock, fastball is upstairs. Two and O. Oh. Rosenbrock launched a couple of home runs in that first game while over the left field fence. 2 0 pitch, fastball upstairs, and Garcia will steal second without a throw. So now two in scoring position. And Huser sown 20 balls and 18 strikes. But it doesn't matter his ball to strike ratio if he hasn't allowed a run as of yet. 3 0 to Rosenbrock, and he takes a fastball up and away. I don't think they wanted any part of Rosenbrock. Instead, they'll deal with Trevor Blake. And Blake is in a similar slump. Blake is 0 out of his last 10. Similar slump as Tormolin. Here comes head coach Daryl Dodge. And he'll pay a visit to the Hill. For great family entertainment, walk in or reserve your time at Fire Lanes today at 220 Cambridge and Brush. It's Fire Lanes. A big moment for the Bee Diggers in the bottom of the third inning. With the bases loaded and two down, scoreless against Strasburg in this district tournament championship game. And Trevor Blake looking for his first hit since late April. But he's been very good in the clutch this season. With runners in scoring position, Blake is hitting 379. The senior catcher awaits the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. At third is Acosta. Garcia at second. Rosenbrock at first. 1-0. And that one's to the screen. Takes a big bounce right towards the catcher Hildebrand. And Acosta has to hold up at third. 2-0. Nice break there for the Indians. Not a lot of space between the catcher and the backstop. About 15 to 20 feet, and that's not really a lot, especially when it ricochets right back to the catcher. But Blake is in a hitter's count. Two balls and no strikes. Wind by Brandon Huser, the pitch. That is upstairs and inside, 3-0. and Well, if you're Blake here, you're definitely taking one pitch, maybe two. 3-0 and to Trevor Blake. That's right over the plate for a strike with a fastball. It's 3-1. and Let's see if Blake takes a second pitch. He's winding up with the bases loaded. 3-1. Swung on line into left field. That's a base hit. Hit very hard. Garcia is going to have to hold up at third. Scoring is Dylan Acosta on the RBI single by Trevor Blake. And the Bee Diggers take a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the third inning. And that pitch was down in the zone. Here is Ryan Hirschfeld who popped up to the mound. In his first at bat, two homers, 16 RBIs. And hitting over 450. Swung on, driven deep to left field. Way back. It's a grand slam for Ryan Hirschfeld. Holy Mahungus. And the Bee Diggers now lead the Strasburg Indians 5 to nothing on a Ruthian blast. That was a no-doubter. Hirschfeld greeted at home plate, and on one swing, the Bee Diggers have broken it wide open early. That'll send up Jesus Cadenas. I think that might have been out of course. I mean, that thing was launched by Ryan Hirschfeld. And let's see the home plate umpire and the uh, pitcher. Brandon Hughes are having a conversation. I'm not sure what about. That's the same swing that Hirschfeld took in his first at bat, but popped it to the mound on a 2 0 pitch. Godinus has popped up. He's 0 for 1 in the game. One in the pitch, and the fastball is a strike on the outer half. Thigh high, it's 0 1. The offering. Fastball outside, and the count is level at one ball and one strike. And the pitch. Swag and a miss and a fastball at the letters. One and two. No matter what your loan needs, stop by High Plains Bank, Central Avenue, and Wiggins. Inquire about checking and savings accounts as well as CDs. 
High Plains Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Pitches low and away. Two balls and two strikes. The offering swung on and fisted up the middle on the ground. Shortstop behind the bag throws and in time as Brian Lay retires. Jesus Cadenas and the inning is over. However, the Beat Diggers put together a huge frame. Five runs on three hits, including a grand slam from Ryan Hirschfeld. No errors and nobody left. Three complete in this district tournament championship game. Brush five, Strasburg nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Let's head to the fourth inning. The Beat Diggers lead the Strasburg Indians in this district tournament championship game. Five to nothing. Ryan Hirschfeld with a gargantuan grand slam. And now it's up to Kyle Rosenbrock in the beat digger defense. It'll be Tommy Moore. Tommy Moore to lead off. He's singled in his first at bat. The pitch, and that is low and away. One ball, no strikes. But remember, this Strasburg team can hit. They scored 14 runs against Bennett. This game is far from over, and they were down in that game. The offering. Fastball, a strike on the outside corner at the knees. The count is one and one. Rosenbrock has allowed just one run. Bender's low and away over his last 17 innings as a starter. So if that continues, and he just pitches dominantly, then the beat diggers will advance to Greeley. Swung on and fisted on the ground. Third baseman Monday handles it, drops it, throws to first, and that's going to be late. That'll be an error on Monday. And Tommy Moore reaches. Second error committed by the B-Diggers in the game. That'll bring up Jason McCune, who struck out with second and third and one out in the first inning when Strasburg had a big threat going. Stretch by Rosenbrock. And the offering. And the curveball is low. One ball and no strikes. Bay Digger scored their runs on a Trevor Blake RBI single, and then the granny by Hirschfeld. Fisted foul straight back on the fastball up in the zone. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Greg Mullen is there. Let Greg Mullen work with you to get the discount you desire and the coverage you need. State Farm agent Greg Mullen fouled off to the right. One ball and two strikes. Now you take a chance here with a foul ball, depending upon where you park your car so far. Most cars have gone unscathed. Curveball called strike three. It froze McCune. Second time he struck out. And second strikeout for Rosenbrock. There's one down in the fourth inning. That'll bring up Jeremy Reagan. Reagan with two on and two out. In the first inning, popped up to the catcher, Blake, to end that threat. Blake lays down the sign. Short lead at first, the pitch. Fastball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. 33 strikes, 19 balls so far. Thrown by the freshman right-hander, Rosenbrock. The stretch. And a 1-0 offering. Swung on, popped foul, and out of play off to the right. And the count is level at one and one. B Diggers again at double play depth, looking to end this inning very quickly. And the offering in the dirt with a curveball. Two balls and one strike. The big upset today happened in Rifle. The third seed Bears lost to the 30th seed Weld Central six to nothing. So lots of Patriot League teams still alive. Two one. Fisted off to the right and foul. Two balls and two strikes, and Rosenbrock really has command of the inside portion of the plate. That's why a lot of balls are hit off the fist and to the left side. Two and two to Reagan. The pitch, fastball, backed him off. Three and two with a very dangerous hitter, Brandon Whitehead, on deck. Moore leads off of first with one down in the fourth. Five-nothing brush the pitch. Swung on, tapped, foul. Up the left side, and the count remains at three and two. As we alluded to earlier, the B Diggers have hosted this district tournament three of the last four years, but came up empty in 09, losing in the 
championship game to Faith Christian. The pitch, and that's up and in. It's a walk. The second walk issued by Rosenbrock as Reagan reaches. And last year, the B-Diggers lost to LaHunta 8-2. to two. Whitehead grounded to the shortstop, Mares, in his first plate appearance. But this is certainly a dangerous hitter, even though he's in the six hole. The stretch by Rosenbrock. And the pitch. Curveball is tapped foul up the third base side. No balls and one strike. With Moore at second, Reagan at first, and one down in the fourth inning. Overcast skies for the semifinal, but mainly sunshine for this game. And the 0-1 pitch, and up and in. Almost tried to throw a knuckler there. One ball, one strike. B-Digger fans may be counting down the outs here. Still plenty to go, though. 1-1 offering. Swing and a miss on a fastball. He was way, way late on that one. Whitehead behind in the count at 1-2. and I think he was anticipating another pitch. There's no doubt because he took a swing at what would have been an off-speed pitch. 1-2 offering. Swing and a miss on a fastball up and in. And Rosenbrock strikes out Whitehead. And there's two down. Two down for Zach Hildebrand. Another right-handed hitter. Rosenbrock is always very good with men on base, the pitch. And the bender's in the dirt. Gets away from Blake, but only about a less than a foot to his right. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock has allowed one hit through three and two-thirds innings. And the 1-0. Fastball is upstairs. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, this is where a game can turn around for Strasburg if they can come up with a big hit. The 2-0 to Hildebrand. Fastball outside corner for a strike, thigh high. Ball two, strike one to the Strasburg catcher. Jer- Jeremy Reagan at first, ahead of him is Tommy Moore at second with two down in the fourth. The pitch fouled all the way to the screen on a fastball. It's two and two. For all of your auto supply needs, stop by Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. And a 5 nothing brush lead in the top of the fourth inning from Sunset Baseball Field. Rosenbrock looking for the out pitch. The stretch and the offering. Curveball is laced and caught by Monday at third. Nice backhanded catch by the beat digger, third baseman. Robbing Hildebrand of a base hit and more importantly, ending the inning for the bead diggers. Or check that for Strasburg here in the fourth. No runs, no hits, one air and two men left. Three and a half complete in this district tournament championship game. Brush five, Strasburg nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. How many times does a player make a good defensive play and then lead off the inning? And that's what's going to happen here with tighter Monday in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brush leads Strasburg 5 to nothing. All the runs scored in the third inning on an RBI single from Trevor Blake and a grand slam by Ryan Hirschfeld. It'll be the bottom of the order. Monday followed by Acosta and then, of course, the number one hitter in the lineup, Gregory Mares. Monday grounded to second in his first at bat against the right-hander Brandon Huser, who's been all over the place, 50 pitches. 26 balls and 24 strikes. Now batting, third baseman, number 27, Tyler Monday. Here's the wine and pitch. Swung on and hit on the ground sharply to the shortstop, Brian Lay. Sets, throws low, but dug out by Brandon Whitehead. There's one down in the bottom of the fourth. Here comes Dylan Acosta. This guy's been a spark plug today. Two doubles in the opening game against St. Mary's in a 7-3 brush victory and has walked in this game. Wine by Huser and the offering, and that's in the dirt. One ball, no strikes. How about the B-Diggers playing long ball today? They have scored 12 runs today and nine of them on home runs. Low and away with a fastball. Two balls and no strikes. The Bay Diggers hold on and win. They would play on Friday at either 10 a.m. or 12.30 from Greeley. The pitch. 
Swung on line, and that should be caught it is by the second baseman Moore. Hit very solidly, but right at the Strasburg second baseman, and there's two down. Brush would either play at 10 a.m. or 12.30 on Friday from Butch Butler Field in Greeley or from the University of Northern Colorado at Jackson Field, but still you got to get nine outs to pitch. Swung on and grounded a third. Austin McCall's got it. Throws to first. That's a bullet. And Gregory Mares is out in an extremely quick inning as the B-Diggers are done in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brush five, Strasburg nothing in the 3A District 8 Tournament Championship game on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. In the District Tournament semifinal against St. Mary's, Gregory Mares was working on a no-hitter into the fifth inning. St. Mary's able to hit the ball and get five hits. Kyle Rosenbrock allowed a first-inning hit, and that's it, working on a one-hitter going into the fifth inning for Brush, leading Strasburg 5 to nothing. 8 9 and 1 coming up for the Indians. Dalton Oliver, Austin McCall, and Glenn Wallace. And Oliver hit that soft line drive off the fist that was caught by Rosenbrock. The right handed, check that left handed right fielder. The pitch. Change up is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. To Dalton Oliver. Brush with a 5 0 lead in the fifth. The offering. Again, it's upstairs. 2-0. Capacity crowd at Sunset Baseball Field. A lot of people are standing. Every seat taken. Swung on and lifted into foul territory. Tyler Monday might have a play along the dugout, and he makes the catch right behind the beat digger dugout on the third base side as Mark Muniz gives a big round of applause, and there's one down. That's a big first out. I mean, it's always a big first out. Austin McCall grounded out to Godinus in his first at bat. And again, Rosenbrock out of the stretch with the bases empty. The offering. Curveball is fisted towards right center field for a base hit right in front of Daniel Soto. And that's the first hit for Strasburg since the first inning. It came on a slow curveball. Glenn Wallace has lined out and grounded out to the third baseman Monday. The line out was to the right fielder Soto to lead off the game. And again, Strasburg did not kill the ball against Bennett, but had that big 11-run bottom of the sixth inning, turning a 4-3 deficit into a 14-4 win. The pitch swung on, fouled off to the right on the fastball. It's 0-1. Sometimes when you come up with big innings like that, it's hard to keep that momentum going, especially knowing that you're facing a completely different team and pitcher. 0-1. Swung on, lifted to center field. Dylan Acosta a few steps back, comes in, makes the basket catch. Retreating to first is McCall, and there are two down. And that's the one thing that Rosenbrock has done nicely in the game with only three strikeouts. He has pitched a contact. Brian Lay walked and grounded out to third. He's 0 for 1. The stretch by Rosenbrock with a runner at first and the offering. And that's low. Took something off at one ball, no strikes. The B-Diggers with an RBI single from Blake and a grand slam by the sophomore Ryan Hirschfeld. Swung on, grounded up the third base side, foul. And the count is leveled at 1 and 1. Excellent baseball today involving the Morgan County teams. And again, if you missed it, Fort Morgan lost a heartbreaker. Two to one and eight innings in Greeley to Longmont on a balk. One ball, one strike, two down, one on. The pitch swung on and grounded foul up the third base side. Count goes to one and two. Yeah, we played less than an hour. And we're almost through the Top half of the fifth inning. Rosenbrock is one strike away against Brian Lay. And a 1-2 pitch. Swung on, driven foul down the left side. That one might have had home run distance. In fact, it did, but it was foul, and Rosenbrock will make sure not to throw it in that location again. So Eric Garcia hit a long one foul in the first game. It was actually not a home run in terms of distance, but then he homered on the next pitch. 1-2. Curveball is grounded left side. Monday's got it. Sets, throws to first, inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Four and a half complete 
in this district tournament championship game from Brush. The Bead Diggers 5 and the Strasburg Indians nothing. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 5 to nothing. Brush leads Strasburg. As we head to the bottom of the fifth inning, Eric Garcia, Mitch Tormon, and Kyle Rosenbrock. And Garcia's two for two in the game. The pitch swung on, line to right center field for a base hit, headed for a gap. Garcia's going to take a hard turn at first, and he's going to hold up right there. He is three for three off this right-hander, Brandon Huser. And that will bring up Mitch Tormolin. V-Diggers now with five hits in the game. And one of those was a grand slam by Hirschfeld. The other an RBI single by Blake. Tormolin has reached on an air and lined out the pitch. Swung on and fisted foul off to the right. No balls and one strike. V-Diggers. Had the leadoff man on three times over the first five innings. The offering, fastball is upstairs, throw back to first. And back in standing is Garcia. One ball, one strike. Brush scored all their runs in the third inning. Pitch to Tormolin. Curveball outside. Garcia goes to second to throw the slide, and he is going to be out. Perfect throw by Zach Hildebrand as Tommy Moore applies the tag. Should be a two-ball, one-strike count. Garcia has been tagged out twice. One's trying to stretch a single into a double. And the other time, right now. And the offering. And that is over but low. Let's see, I've got the count at three and one. The board says two and two. We'll find out in just a second. Wine and the pitch to Tormolin. Swung on and grounded a third. Big hop there from McCall. Tricky hop, but he's able to come up with it. He stabs it and throws out Tormolin for the out. I don't know if he actually saw the ball into his glove, but he got the job done. Two down for Kyle Rosenbrock. And this game has come down to just one inning. Rosenbrock has popped out and walked. But he's done the job on the hill, and he had two two run homers and a double in game one. The pitch, and that fastball is low and away. One ball and no strikes. Your one stop center for projects around your home office or yard is Ackley Building Center at 1402 Mill Street and Brush. The pitch. And did he go? I don't think so on the check swing. No. On a ball in the dirt, two balls and no strikes. Who would think he needs some insurance runs, but. Against Strasburg after that 11-run inning against Bennett showed what they're capable of. Swung on and driven high down the left field line. Long run over there by Jeremy Reagan in foul territory. Can he make the catch? And I think he did. Shy of the fence in foul territory, he does. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and nobody left. Five complete. Brush five. Strasburg nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. This game has moved along at a lightning pace. Brush five, Strasburg nothing as we head to the sixth inning. And the sixth inning was the one in which Strasburg exploded against Bennett. After scoring three runs over the first five frames, but Kyle Rosenbrock has tossed a two-hitter to this point. I mean, not only has he only allowed one run over the last 19 innings as a starter, He's allowed a total of 12 hits in the last 19 innings, so not even a lot of base runners from that perspective. And he's mowed down some of the better lineups in Valley in that complete game three-hitter with 10 strikeouts a couple of weeks ago, and now Strasburg, which has scored runs by the bucket full throughout the course of the year. Tommy Moore singled and reached on an air. One for two, but has been on base twice. The pitch fastball is a strike on the inside corner at the knees it's 0-1 that was the 79th pitch thrown by Rosenbrock 51 for strikes and the offering swung on and fisted into foul territory third baseman Monday giving chase and makes the running catch for the out not sure why Moore swung at that pitch because that ball was closer to hitting him than he was to hitting it solidly and here 
is Jason McCune, who has struck out twice. And he's the cleanup hitter. Rarely do you see a pitcher generate only three strikeouts, and two of them are against the cleanup hitter. The pitch, swing, and a miss, and a ball in the dirt on the bender. It's 0-1. And Rosenbrock keeping his defense on their toes. Lots of work on the left side, especially tighter Monday. That curveball to the screen. One ball, one strike. With one out and the base is empty. Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan is equitable savings and loan. Swung on and driven in the air to left field. Eric Garcia to his left, settles under it, makes the one-handed catch. Two down in the top of the sixth inning. And Rosenbrock got that one in on the fist. And Jeremy Reagan, who has popped out and walked, will step to the plate. Another right-handed hitter for Strasburg. Stretched by Rosenbrock and the offering. Swung on and lifted into the right center field gap. Long run for Daniel Soto way back towards the track. And that ball is going to drop shy of the track. Reagan around first. He's into second with a two-out double. The third hit of the game on a long fly ball hit by Jeremy Reagan, who just found the gap. The B-Diggers were shading that way. That could have been an out. And Brandon Whitehead, who was grounded a short and struck out, will step in. B-Diggers have to record just four more outs with a 5 nothing lead over Strasburg here in the top of the sixth inning. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is over but low. One ball and no strikes. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title in Fort Morgan. The pitch. Curveball is laced in the left field. That's a base hit. Garcia plays it on one hop and gets it back in. As advancing to third is Reagan on a hanging curveball. And watch out. Runners at the corners. But there are two down. There's Zach Hildebrand who's grounded out. And line to the third baseman Monday. That was a big play two innings ago with runners at first and second and two down. Rosenbrock looking for another scoreless inning on his resume. The offering. Swing and a miss and a fastball down and in. So and one. Not sure if Strasburg will try to run, get two runners in scoring position. But Whitehead not with a ton of speed over there. And you're down by five to brush. And the 0-1. Curveball looked pretty good, but called a ball. A little bit high. Count is level at one ball and one strike. With runners at the corners and two down in the sixth inning. Pitch to Hildebrand. In the dirt. Ball two, strike one. First two outs were recorded, then Jeremy Reagan with a double, Brandon Whitehead with a single. The stretch, 2-1 pitch, swung on and grounded a third, Monday's got it, settles, throws to first, inning over. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two men left. The B-Diggers are three outs away from advancing to the state tournament in Greeley. Brush five, Strasburg nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Brush five, Strasburg nothing as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. B Diggers scored their runs on Traver Blake's RBI single and Ryan Hirschfeld's grand slam all in the third inning. Since then, the starter Brandon Huser has been very tough on Brush. B Diggers have not generated a ton of offense. Five runs on five hits for Brush, no runs on four hits for Strasburg. The B Diggers have stranded only two. Strasburg has left seven on base. And here is Trevor Blake, who had a big RBI single after he walked in his first at bat. Or first plate appearance, that is. He's one for one. Again, you can follow us pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com if you haven't been doing so already throughout the course of the season. Wind and pitch by the right-hander. Huser is a fastball inside. One ball and no strikes. And Blake awaits the pitch. Swung on and chopped over the mound. The shortstop right in front of the bag will throw for the out as Brian Lay retires. Trevor Blake. 
Of course, the B-Digger fans are certainly rooting for some runs in this frame, but I think they're also anxious to get this thing over with. Hirschfeld changed the game with a mammoth grand slam with the bases loaded and one out in the third, the pitch. He swings and fists it towards the second baseman Moore to his right. Side arms to first. There's two down. Well, they're making it easy on Brandon Huser, even though the beat diggers are being aggressive. Jesus Cardenas has popped out and grounded out. He's 0 for 2. Huser might go the distance despite throwing only 67 pitches to this point. Wine and pitch. Curveball is right there for a strike on the inner half. It's 0 and 1. Hildebrand lays down the sign and a pitch. Outside took something off of the count as level at one ball and one strike. And the offering. Swag and a miss and a fastball belt high. One ball, two strikes to Jesus Cardenas. And the offering swung on and hit sharply on the ground of the second baseman. Moore to his right has got it. Side arms to first. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Brandon Huser. We head to the seventh in this District 8 3A tournament championship game. Brush 5, Strasburg nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. This is it for the Strasburg Indians. As we head to the top of the seventh inning in Brush, the Beat Diggers 5, the Indians nothing against freshman right-hander Kyle Rosenbrock. It'll be Dalton Oliver, Austin McCall, and Glenn Wallace, the 8, 9, and 1 hitters. Oliver has lined out to the mound and grounded out. Or check that, popped out. Either way, he's 0 for 2. Alright, we're gonna have a pinch hitter. Yeah, we're gonna have a pinch hitter here. This will be Spencer Blau hitting from the right side. The stretch and pitch. And the breaking ball is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock going for his third complete game in his third start of the season. 1-0. Swung on and hit on the ground to the second baseman. God us. He's got it. Sets, throws, and there's one down. And it looked like Blau tripped over the bag. Yeah, there's a slope out there, and that's the only issue with this particular field. Now, once you go too far beyond the bag, it slopes downhill. You could lose your balance. Austin McCall will now hit a ground out and a single. Only three strikeouts by Rosenbrock, but he's hitting the thin part of the bat. And the pitch. Swag, and I'm missing a breaking ball. No balls and one strike. Rosenbrock went the distance on a three-hitter against Valley. Allowed seven hits to berth it in a three-to-one victory. Now four hits so far against Strasburg. Swung on and grounded left side. And Mares in the hole at short. Long throw to first is low. And dug out by Tormolin for the out. An excellent play on both ends. And there's two down in the seventh inning. And here is Glenn Wallace, 0 for 3 in the game. Strasburg's last chance. Rosenbrock stretches. And the offering. Curveball is hit on the ground on the right side. Rosenbrock's got it. Throws to first, and the Brush Beat Diggers are the Class 3A District 8 Tournament Champions, defeating the Strasburg Indians by a score of 5 to nothing and advanced to the 3A double elimination eight team state tournament beginning on Friday from Greeley. We'll take a break and we'll wrap it up after this on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. The Brush Bee Diggers have won the District 8 3A tournament championship game defeating Strasburg this afternoon by a score of 5 to nothing. Five runs on five hits, two errors, two left on base for Brush. No runs on four hits, one error, and seven left on base for Strasburg. The winning pitcher going the distance was Kyle Rosenbrock. A very valiant effort by Brandon Huser, but he takes the lost time of the game extremely quick. One hour and 16 minutes, the game was scoreless. 
in the third inning. And then a Trevor Blake RBI single, which was followed by a grand slam by Ryan Hirschfeld as the Bee Diggers are receiving their, I believe those are district tournament championship caps. Let's get in a word here with uh, the head coach of the Bee Diggers, Mark Muniz. And Mark, you know at this time of year, it's all about pitching, and you got plenty of it today from Maris and Rosenbrock. Right. Well, you know, you know what I always say. It's those three things. You hit the ball, you play defense, and pitching. And in both of those games, we got that. We were, we were, I mean, we were almost close to perfect in terms of defense. And is just progressing and getting better and better. I just don't know what to tell you about it. I mean, are you in awe considering this is a freshman, not only with what he did on the mound, you had very good defense today, a couple of errors, but that really didn't hurt you. But in the first game against St. Mary's, those two two-run homers, which certainly separated yourselves from them. Right, right. Well, you know, I, I'm really not in awe of him. I, you know, I, I had him as a student. I had him as a middle You know, you saw what he did this year during during the other, you know, the Coach, how are you feeling about this team here? Obviously much better going into the 18th tournament beginning on right. nine in a row. And we talked about this a couple of days ago right. that you're clicking on all cylinders and it didn't plateau out today. You played even better today. Yeah. We, yeah. And, and it, it just it, where, where we left off. And uh, I knew these guys were, were there. You know, this, this really is summertime. And be honest with me, even with a 5 nothing lead and Rosenbrock on the mound in the seventh, are you still nervous knowing what oh, yeah. Strong can do offensively? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, come on. I'm punched in the stomach a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, it's yeah, yeah, I can't take that. We ever, you know, you could beat, beat on, on any given day, and uh, that's just how it is. Second state tournament appearance. And here's Mark, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beat Digger, base coach Mark Muniz after the Beat Diggers. Defeat the Strasburg Indians by a score of five to nothing in the 3A District 8 Tournament Championship game from Sunset Baseball Field, getting an RBI single from Trevor Blake and a grand slam from Ryan Hirschfeld. Now the Bee Diggers will play on Friday at either 10 a.m. or 12:30. Bee Diggers will take on the winner of the District 7 tournament going on right now in Rifle in the opening game. Weld Central was a winner, of course, six to nothing. A big upset as the 30th seed. Knocked off the number three seed as Weld Central defeated Rifle. So we still don't have an update on that. But uh, you can tune in to 10-10 preps and more from a 1 to 2 on Monday. And as soon as we have it, we'll have an update on our Facebook page. You can go to our Facebook page at 10-10 KSIR Sports. And we will have an update as soon as possible as to who the Beat Diggers will be playing, when they will be playing. But we know it's either Friday at 10 or at 12.30 from either Butch Butler Field or Jackson Field in Greeley, and that will be in an eight-team double elimination state tournament. As the post-game show is brought to you by Buildings by Design, the most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build practice is picking the right company to build it. For a free bid, call Pat Walter or Travis Lefevre, 970-842-5837. Of course, you can visit them on the web at buildingsbydesign.com. And, of course, we always remind you, you can log on to KSIRsports.com. Follow every game pitch by pitch as the Beat Diggers improved to 15-6 and six with their ninth consecutive victory. And Strasburg had a great season, but they are done at 14-7 and seven on the year. Once again, outstanding job by our sound engineer and producer, Rose Condes. I'm John Beltran in a district tournament championship game that took just 76 minutes on a Kyle Rosenbrock four-hitter. The Beat Diggers defeat the Strasburg Indians 5 to nothing. We'll talk to you on Friday from Greeley in the opening round of the 18th 30 or double elimination state tournament. Brush 5, Strasburg nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.